Hi, welcome to the Cab Gallery. I'm Jessica Vorsanger. It used to be that traditional artists wore a beret and a smock. Now we wear our seatbelts. Be the art star that you are, and buckle up for safety. Enjoy your visit. This exhibition moves me. No, it really does. And that's because it's in the back of a London taxi. It's called Cab Gallery, and it's one unusual way of experiencing art. Indeed, art experience is the theme of today's eye contact. Later on, we'll be meeting up with the duo behind all of this, and also hooking up with the man behind online gallery, Paper Veins, which is a truly beautiful and quite frankly moving encounter. So, Driver, what's all this about, then? Well, it's quite an interesting story, really. It all started in 1999, uh, when I first met Paul Stolper in his gallery. Jason would come by quite frequently. He bought a painting by Peter Liversidge. And we got talking about the cab. And when he told me he was a, a cab driver and a London black cab driver, I was just like, this is it, this is perfect. He said, that sounds interesting. There was this little bundle of metal racing around London with art strapped to the back of it on the inside. And it was fun just to see how many different ways artists were going to interpret the space. The first exterior piece for the cab was by Bob and Roberta Smith. And in very true Bob and Roberta Smith style, it was the word taxi misspelled. T-A-X-Y in big red and yellow bold text. We've moved on from Bob and Roberta Smith. We now have the American artist Alex Katz. Um, it's uh, one of his early images from the 70s. We've recreated on the side of the cab. Um, sunny as you can see just behind me. Um, Christo and Jean-Claude have sent something along. Thomas and Laurie Clark. Susie Hamilton. Claudia Rays. Annabelle Cohn did a fantastic cushion. Donald Smith. Rachel Beckett did a fantastic cushion. And Jessica Vorsanger. Graham Parker and David McIntosh who work under the name of Bono and Sting. Brian Eno. Uh, Tanya Ling will be doing something. Susan Hiller. Oh lots of people, lots of people. Cab gallery is very much a working taxi. The passengers are seeing the art as it is in the taxi and they're left there to interact with it. That's really the kind of the star, the fact that it just goes around London regardless of anyone's opinion with art on the inside and the outside. I feel it's important that the project has a life, that um, it should end after a period of time. So by September 2001 it would have run its course, it would have been two years. Um, and after that, the cab would just go back to being a regular taxi around London.